How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is a fat destroying, muscle building, total body, 20 minute workout. Plus I'm gonna show you what to eat. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of my new videos. And I do appreciate that. And real quick before we get started, I wanna mention that I'm now doing fat loss and wellness coaching. So if you'd like some extra help on your path to wellness, you can send me an email or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram. Those links are in the description box below the video. All right, so I'm out here in my garage and when it's really cold outside, I usually work out in my garage. Sometimes I go to the gym. During the warmer months, I like to work out outdoors. So with that being said, this is a great workout. It's full body. It only takes about 20 minutes. I'm going to show you modifications for each move. So if you're depending on your level and your ability, this can be used for a beginner or an Olympic, Olympic athlete doesn't really matter. Um, it's going to be great for everyone. There's going to be 12 different moves, 12 different sets. It's going to be a pull move, a push move, a leg move and a core move. And we're going to do three rounds. It's going to be a different move in each with each round. So let's get started. Make sure you do a warm up, stretch out, get the blood pumping first before we start. And here it is. All right, I just finished my warm up. I'm gonna start out with my first move, which is a pull move. It's gonna be pull up crunches. Now, if you can't do these, just stick with it because at the end of the set, I'm gonna show some different modifications that's gonna allow you to build yourself up to the pull up crunches. All right, so I'm gonna do each move in between 30 seconds and a minute, just depending on the move, and there's gonna be a one minute rest in between each move. All right, so let's get it started. So it's a pull up and do a crunch. Okay, now of course you can also do regular pull-ups if you're not to that point yet. And if you can't do regular pull-ups, I'm gonna show you a modification. You can do reverse pull-ups by using a chair, jumping up, and then letting yourself down. So go ahead and use the chair until you get to the point where you can do regular pull-ups, build up the strength, and then you can do the pull-up crunches. All right, one minute rest. Then we're on to the next move, which is a push move. All right, these are side-to-side -side push-ups. If you can't do these, I'll show you a modification at the end. Okay, now you can always do regular push-ups, but if you can't do those, you go to your knees. Now here's the important thing. You want full range of motion. Lock out the arms, all the way down. Lock out the arms, all the way down. I see a lot of people in the gym doing things like this. 
that's not going to get you very far. You're better off going to your knees in full range of motion. So work on that until you can get to regular push-ups and then you can try out the side-to-side -side push ups All right, one minute rest, on to the next move. All right, next up is weighted squats. And of course you can do unweighted squats for the modification. I'm gonna show you the move. It's gonna be full range of motion. So depending on your level, you can start out with just regular squats with no weights. Build up the weights as you get stronger. All right, one minute rest and we're on to a core move. All right, we're on to one of my personal favorites, mountain climbers. Great for the core. Plank position, knees to elbows. You can alternate elbows or knee to the same elbow. All right, one minute rest, and we'll be back with the next move. All right, one minute rest. Now we're on to another pull move. This is gonna be round two, and this is gonna be L chin-ups. Again, if you can't do these, start with regular chin-ups, and if you're not there, use the chair and just do the reverse chin-ups. So here are the L chin-ups. Chin-up position. Palms facing in, L with your body. So at the end I got tired, so I went to regular chin-ups. And then you can go to that chair move as well. One minute break. Also notice the full range of motion with the pulls. One minute break and we'll be back with the next move. We're back for the push move. This is gonna be variation position push-ups. I'm gonna start narrow, go regular, then wide. So you can follow along with this. Do these from your knees. If you need to. 
Starting with narrow, hands together push-ups. To regular. To wide. Again, from your knees if you need to. Work your way up. One minute break, onto the leg move. All right, these are alternating lunges with weight. Depending on your ability level, you can choose your weight appropriately. Let's do this. Full range of motion. All the way down, all the way up. Nice deep lunge. If you're just new to working out, you can do these with no weight until that gets too easy. Then add the weight. Let's get the heart going. Okay, one minute break, onto the core move. Okay, I don't know what these are called, but it's in plank position, you lift one leg, bring it into your elbow, and keep switching back and forth. Follow along here. These are great for the core. Plank position, lift up a leg high, bring it into the elbow. Lift up the leg high, into the forehead. Lift up the leg high, other elbow. Now on to the next leg. High lift, elbow. High lift, knee, forehead. High lift, elbow. And repeat. Hold that position. This is a slow move. We don't want to rush this one. One minute rest, on to the next move. All right, we're on round three, last round. Starting with the pull move. This is gonna be very hand position pull-ups. So we're gonna go narrow, regular, wide. Again, if you can't do the pull-ups, use the chair to do the reverse pull-ups until you have that strength. Here we go. Start with narrow. Thumbs touching. Four, regular. Four, wide. Four, to 
chin ups. Two more. There it is. One minute rest and on to the push move. This is, uh, not sure what this move is called, but it's a plank move to a push up. Again, try these out. If you can't do them, just work on more push ups from your knees and regular push ups until you build your way up. All right, here it is. These are great for the chest and the core. So we start in plank position. Walk up, push up, down, plank, push up, down, plank. Just keep walking in and out. One minute rest, on to the next move. Next move are calf raises. I'm gonna use weights. If you're new to all this, you can just do it without weights. Build your way up. Let's do it. One minute rest, one more move. All right, the last move is hanging leg raises. Now, if you can't do these hanging on a pull-up bar, you can lay on your back and do the same thing. Just go nice and slow. Work your way up till you can do it on the pull-up bar. All right, that is it. Cool down, stretch out, and I'll be back soon. I'm gonna show you what I eat throughout the day. Workout was done at noon. I usually start eating about two o'clock. So we'll be back real quick with what I'm eating. All right, great workout for everyone that followed along. It's about two o'clock almost, and I'm having this big thing of watermelon. Looking forward to that, my favorite food. And we'll be back soon with what's next. Okay, I digested that watermelon, and I'm on to my next part of my meal. I'm gonna have this smoothie, which is a banana, some blueberries, chia seeds, and water. 
And then after the smoothie, I made a peanut butter and banana sandwich with some mixed nuts. So that is what I'm having next, and I'll be back soon with what I'm going to have after this. Okay, now it's 6 o'clock, and I put together a salad with mixed greens, has celery, cucumber, apple, and avocado. So I'm going to have that, and then I'm going to have one last thing to finish it off. All right, it's about 6.30, and I'm going to have the last part of my meal. Some kind of some random stuff, but some leftovers. I made a baked potato with some veggie chili. I had a little bit of pasta I wanted to finish off that I had, and I made another little salad. This just has apples and nuts. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video, and we'll be back soon. Bye-bye.